this up. I am all done with chemical guys. Um, about a month ago, I reached out to the chemical guys customer support team and I said, hey, I have an issue with some of the chemicals that I bought and um, specifically with the cutting compounds. Um, I went all in. I bought um, the P3 or the P4, the C4, V36, V34, V38, their, um, their hybrid compound, their cutting polish, and their final grade optimum polish compound. And I started using it on cars. I was like, whatever, I'm here. You know, I used to go. I go there. I used to go there a, a lot because um, they're they're close. They're they're pr they're easy. You know, it's it's convenient for me. So I grabbed that stuff. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll I have the Torque DA. I used to use it on my car in Texas. Um, a lot of cars are starting to ask me to do a little little bit of polishing on their car. So instead of using the Meguiar stuff, let me just let me try this stuff out. So I did, and um, I tried it on a few cars. I think I I think in total I've used them on six or seven cars, not including mine, and um, I was not happy with any of them. Um, I kept I kept trying to change the process, change the process, and I was like, by, by like the fourth car, I was like, I need to, I need to get something else, but like maybe I'm doing it wrong, maybe, maybe I need to work it longer, maybe I need to make sure I condition the pad a little bit more, yada, 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 and it just, it was not coming out the way that I wanted. It, it, it did improve, you know, most, most of the cars, don't get me wrong, like they, they will improve, but, um, but for the vast majority, it was, it was not improving the paint quality of these cars so, so I reached out to them and uh, they said basically that um, it is past the 30-day warranty you know it won't be it'll be no issues at all just send me an invoice show me what's happening yada 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 so that you don't have to worry about it sorry that your experience is way like so I did I, I sent them videos which I'll show you right now um, what I use what I used it with where I use it on my car and obviously I can't show the, uh, my, my previous customers cars because no, none of them happen to be maintenance clients but I, I showed I showed videos of my car so you'll see that right now so what I did on my car is with all this stuff um, sometimes I'd use this stuff on those pads but when I used this um, on these pads you know I'd use the, the C4 with the yellow pad and then you know this one I'd use with like an orange pad and this one I'd use with like the green pad and then the final polish I'd use with this ultra fine blue pad. This is supposed to be a blue pad, but it changed color in the wash. And then with my stuff, this is both with a 15DA, the Torque 15DA. I use either the Meguiar's or, or usually this stuff. This is Wizard's compounds. And I use synthetic wool, real wool, microfiber cutting, and then microfiber polishing. And I'll show you where, oh, you can probably totally see it in the sun now, perfect sun just came out yeah there you go and then see if i can shine it on this one uh, you know it's got water spots and stuff but otherwise no swirls i love how i pause like i have to wait for the video to be over so i was able to get the invoice i was able to get the videos um and i sent that stuff over and then they reached back to me saying were they able to help and i'm like what do you mean? Like the guy's at Detail Garage? And I'm like, no. Like, I know him very well. He's pretty much just as intelligent. He definitely has a little bit more experience, but he's out of the profession now. Um, I'm currently in the profession. I do this for a living right now. And there's there's really not a lot that he can tell me that I don't argue you now. So I let them know that. And um, basically they were like, we've never heard of this. We've never heard of anyone having problems with our compounds. And I'm like, you've never had detailers reach out. But um, they were like, I can't, I can't hear the video. So I sent another email back explaining what happened to the video. They were like, okay, what we can do is we'll send you a 16 ounce bottle and we'll give you a 20% off discount code on chemicalize.com and then um, free shipping. And I'm like, you mentioned in the first email that I was able to get a refund. You know, full refund, no questions asked, no worries. That's literally what it said verbatim in my email. I have receipts so I had a little bit of an issue with that and I was like respectfully as a veteran I get 20% off at the local detail garage store anyway so that's of zero help you know I would really just like to to get the refund that we talked about but the whole point was so in my original email so that I could spend the money on compounds elsewhere so 
I didn't really understand why they were doing that. And you know, I'm trying to be as respectful as I can. We're going back and forth like every day. And then um, after I said that, it I went like three days and I didn't get a response. I sent another email. I was like, listen, we were going back and forth. Like, I, I really just want a response to this. I want to I want to know what's going on. Like, we have an open thing going on. And um, no answer. So I never I didn't get another answer until the following Monday. So another three days went by, like late Monday. So all of Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, and then I gave the benefit of the doubt for the weekend, and then like pretty much all of Monday went by before I got any, a response. And my response was this: They said because you purchased it at Detail Garage, um, we are not offered able to offer the refund. Yada yada yada. I'm sorry about this. If you have any questions on how to use the product or how to use it properly, feel free to call and you can talk to one of our service techs, our professional or our master text or whatever that they have there and i'm like a that's a slap in the face b you said you'd refund it and then they asked for an invoice when they asked to see the videos and what was going on they asked for invoices implying that they knew it was purchased at detail garage once i sent those invoices there was like two or three emails back and forth where um that was never mentioned so it was really confusing to me and i was like you know what like that's not what I wanted. And I was like, listen, the discount codes again are useless to me. And then they said a 16 ounce bottle I could get for free of my choice. And I'm like, there's one 16 ounce bottle that I wouldn't want. It is their full on spray ceramic. It's actually really good. I don't know who makes it, but it's not them. It's like $50 for that one small chemicalized spray bottle. I guarantee you they wouldn't, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do it. So what I want to say to you guys, as a starting out detailer, don't buy Chemical Guys products. And it's not because of my situation with the uh, Chemical Guys customer support team. It really isn't. It's primarily all bottled down to price and longevity. Most products that are sold by Chemical Guys, most chemicals, don't have longevity, in my experience. Price is, uh, is way too high to be a detailer if you're really cycling through these products. Price is just, it's too much. It's too much per car. So um, I really highly discourage a young starting up trying to get into a detailer to, to not buy uh, chemical guys products simply for the price point not in, in my experience you know there's some stuff that you can get away with buying from them they're soaps they're dressings they're just the, the longevity is not there so i highly discourage it i will no longer be buying chemical guys products at all this is like kind of like if you want to call it my breaking point I was gonna stop anyway because I'm relocating to Dallas. I was gonna start fresh, start buying, like, okay, let's get into like buying real stuff. I don't need chemical guys, way too overpriced. A lot of their stuff's watered down anyway. Really just enthusiast grade. Like again, like if, you, if you're an enthusiast, right? You wanna go to a car show, you want something to spray your car down, shine it up to look good for a day. You know, that, this stuff works. It's just like the stuff that you can buy at, at, at um, your regular auto parts store. A lot of it works just fine, but if you're a detailer and you need a good product that lasts, Chemical Guys products are not going to do that for you. I've already gotten rid of everything, too. Um, I, I posted up on sale on the Marketplace a couple of days ago, and even the stuff that was in that thumbnail that you saw at the beginning of this video, that stuff is gone. Actually, no, I actually sold it today. It was this morning. That stuff all went. So, that is why I discourage Chemical Guys for the detailer. For you're starting out don't get sucked into their trap there are many other places to go i have links down in the description for some of the starting out products that i highly 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 recommend so there's a lot of stuff in the description about what i like to use currently and uh, you can be spending a lot less so that's really it for this video i am currently chemical guys no 